Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Laura Byers. I'm manager of Follett's academic consulting team and a former middle school educator. Follett is committed to supporting our school and district partners as you implement e-learning initiatives. Your health, the well-being of your community, and your students' education are of utmost importance to the Follett team and family. Follett has several digital tools and resources available for e-learning. One that I'm sharing with you today is Classroom Ready Collections for Social Studies. I hope you find this information valuable as you work to provide e-learning opportunities for your students. What are Classroom Ready Collections? Classroom Ready Collections, or CRCs, are a digital library of open education resources. These resources are vetted by former K-12 teachers who work at Follett. They are aligned to standards for use in teaching English language arts, social studies, and science. And as we look at the CRCs today, you'll see lesson plans, activities, videos, and all kinds of other resources for you and your students. Everything is robust and appropriate for the students you teach. Your starting point for accessing CRCs is Destiny Discover. You can log in at destinydiscover.com or you might have a link on your school or district's website. For more details, refer to the instructional video on Follett's eLearning resources site, Learn How to Use CRCs for eLearning. Once you're logged into Destiny, click on the menu in the upper left-hand corner of the screen and then click on Collections. This Featured tab gives you access to Follett's Classroom Ready Collections, the standards-aligned, vetted open education resources. CRCs are organized by subject and grade band. There are CRCs for K-12 Science, Social Studies, and English Language Arts. We'll start by looking at the middle school CRCs for Social Studies. Here are all the middle school collections of OER content. Let's take a look at modern U.S. history, age of expansion, and, and imperialism. In this CRC, there are 27 vetted OER resources. On the left, you see the title of the collection, the essential questions the resources support, and then the standards to which the resources are aligned. In this case, the C3 framework for social studies. The title of the OER is listed here along with the type of resource. And notice the wide variety. There are articles and lesson plans for teachers. There are videos, maps, and interactive activities for students. The information icon gives an extended annotation and lists the source. And each link opens a tab in your browser. These web links are checked nightly by Follett, so they're always reliable. And then just click on the Destiny tab to go back to the CRC. Another great thing about CRCs is that these resources can be copied to your own private collections. And these are collections of digital resources that you curate and share with students and other teachers. You can learn more about creating and using private collections on Follett's e-learning site. So how do we get started with CRCs? It's helpful to first think about a unit you're teaching. What essential questions are embedded in your unit? Are there gaps between what's covered in your textbook and your state's standards? Are digital resources needed to engage students in distance learning? Start with the unit you're teaching and let that be your guide. If you're teaching middle school social studies, for example, you might want to look at the many early and modern U.S. history collections. Maybe you're teaching a unit on the Constitution. You'll want to look at the resources in the Constitution and Early Republic. 
The standards show that the resources here help students think critically about how leaders of the early Republic felt about the role of government, the impact of the Louisiana Purchase, and the challenges faced by the early Republic. As you explore the resources here, think of this like an educator curated Pinterest, where you scroll and look for ideas and discover things you might not have thought about. There are lesson plans about the Louisiana Purchase and the Constitutional Convention. There's an article about the Federalist Papers and even a checks and balances game. Let's explore a few of these. The Louisiana Purchase is a lesson plan from the Stanford History Group. It's centered around an essential question about why the Federalist, Federalists oppose the Louisiana Purchase. And then to construct their answers, students read a timeline and also primary source documents. And notice that these resources can be downloaded and shared with students in a Google Classroom folder or even a folder in your school's LMS. The map of War of 1812 sites is from the National Park Service. Students can explore sites in the US and Canada with this map. These virtual field trips really engage all students and the pictures provide supports that are especially helpful, as we know, for English language learners. How Laws Are Made is from USA.gov. There's an infographic here. The lesson plan gives activities at a variety of levels. So this is a great way to provide differentiation. And there's even an extension activity where students can research a bill and present their findings to the class. Let's look at this video, how power is divided in the United States. This is from TED-Ed. Students learn about the three branches of government and the system of checks and balances. Here's an interactive quiz that could be used as an engaging whole class activity. There are links to additional resources for students to explore. And there are even discussion questions. These could be used as topics for pro-con papers or even for class debates. The legislative process is an interactive activity that was created by the National Archives. Here students analyze historical records and then decide where they belong in the legislative process. First, they review a primary source document, in this case, a political cartoon. And then they think about and decide where it fits in the sequence. And there are even hints for students who need extra supports. This is a really fun way to engage students in learning about the legislative process, as well as exposing them to a variety of primary source documents. Let's explore another collection. Perhaps you're teaching a high school economics class. One CRC you might want to explore is global economies. Here are the supporting questions. The resources will help students learn about the effect of globalization on people, economies, and governments. Resources will help students think critically about the pros and cons of globalization. 
Let's start by looking at global dairy crisis. This is an article from Reuters. Students learn about the 2015 dairy, dairy crisis. And they learn how the global market impacted dairy farmers around the world. This could be an engaging hook for a unit or lesson about global economies. Why Go Fair Trade begins with a video from Fair Trade America. There's a lot of talk about sustainability at the moment, but what does it all mean? And how does fair trade fit in? Well, sustainability. Students learn why consumers want fair trade products and how fair trade benefits farmers and workers. Students might make up their own product and then learn about fair trade certification. Here's an interactive map. This is from Visual Capitalist. And as we'll, as we'll see, it maps international trade on a 3D globe. As students explore the globe, they learn that trade is concentrated in obvious hubs like the United States and Europe. And they also see the stark contrast to countries where there is little trade. This is a fun way to bring abstract concepts to life, which we know is so helpful for our concrete learners. The International Monetary Fund is from imf.org, and it's an interactive game where students buy and sell products internationally. They start by choosing a trader, and then they make decisions about what they want to sell and buy. And of course, they encounter trade barriers and other challenges as they negotiate prices. So this is a fun learning activity. So with the social studies CRCs, you have access to all of these exciting resources, the high school CRCs and also the CRCs for elementary and middle school. Don't be afraid to just dive in and explore. Thank you for joining me today. To learn more about Follett's Classroom Ready Collections, visit follettcommunity.com.